what's going on guys um so here we're going to actually start programming for our game that we're going to be creating here um in this tutorial i'll be setting up the window and some graphics and stuff like that so nothing too complicated and uh you guys should probably know most of this already if uh you've checked out my previous tutorials on beginning programming so I'm not going to take too much time to explain it all. So, that said, let's get started. The first word is usually no main win because we don't want that random window popping up for us cluttering everything up. Um, I'm thinking this window will fill the whole screen so we'll just say window width equals display width and window height equals display height. Okay, and um, I went, once I have created the sprites that we'll be using in here, I will load the BMPs for those in here. So, I do have one though for the background. Oops. Um, so basically the background is just going to be black. So I just made this black box and we'll use that. So that's basically all we need to open up the window. Um, we'll just call it game uh, version 101 alpha. And oh. Uh, well, for well, it's a graphics window. Um, we don't want the user to like change the size or anything. So to discourage that, we'll say no fill and no scroll bar, no nothing like that. So give it a handle. Number one works fine. And that said, let's. Uh, not forget our trusty old trap close quit. That's usually one of the first things I do, so I don't forget. Go down here and put that label. And you just close the window and you end the program. Um, also, we're going to be getting character input. So when character input go to yada yada branch label um with that remember to always issue this command set focus that makes sure that the window is active and so that it will actually be getting input i mean uh, sensing the key inputs so um, at this point, we'll have some variables that we'll have later on, and we'll set the initial values for those at this point. We'll also have some arrays, so you know it's like dim, array name, and then how many you'll have in there. So we'll dimension all of those at this point in the code. Um, also, I'm going to have a subroutine that will set up the, the terrain. So um, we'll use the go sub command um, draw terrain, and we'll fill that in later. Um, We'll also do timer, maybe like a hundred milliseconds, and go to basically the the meat and potatoes of the program, like the, what it loops through to perform all the things that are going on in the game. So I'm going to comment out these two lines because I don't have those those branches yet. Um, and then we'll want to 
wait, basically, so it doesn't go right to quit. Um, I think this is all I really want to do for the first tutorial here, so just test it all out, compile it, ta-da. One thing I forgot though, I want the, uh, the background on here, so let's do this. Let's actually make that subroutine. I don't know if I've ever made a subroutine uh, in the previous tutorials, so maybe you, this is new for you guys. Basically, it's just like a regular branch label, only at the very end of it, you say return, and it goes back to where it came from in the program. So, um, so far, all I have, I'm gonna have it do is just, just make the background. So that's all it's going to do for now. Save every time you compile it. And it's still white. What am I doing wrong? I don't know. I will figure it out and get back to you. Aha! I remember we'll have to print the command draw sprites. Remember, nothing will happen visually if you don't update the the sprite configuration with that. Um, and that that does apply to the background. I kind of forgot about that. So save and compile. There it is. This is how I want the window. And see the the no fill means that this is grayed out, and there's no scroll bars because we don't need that for this game. So that was our first tutorial. Pretty simple. Um, it'll start to get a little more complex later on, so don't get discouraged if it gets hard. Um, and if you have any questions, just message me or look online. There's lots of resources. So see you in the next video.